everybody it's your girl ariana and i am back with another video for y'all today i'm going to be doing that um green look that i posted on my instagram page a little while back um i recorded a video on it before but i just didn't like the way that it that it like turned out or i guess there was just a lot of in there that i just didn't like so we are going to be redoing that video today and I'm going to be using some new products. So I'm going to be using the um, Fenty Beauty. Hold on, let me grab it. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Oh my God, am I okay? Um. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to be using this today, which I'm very, very excited about. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. And if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, go ahead and check out my eyebrow tutorial, which I will put in the cards for y'all to click. All right. So I'm not about to fight with my eyebrows today. So they just going to have to be looking like how they look it today. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not with it. I'm not fighting with them today. So I'm going to take, first of all, let me tell y'all what this is. So this is the JJ Ellie Professional um, Glow Aging Eye Renewal Diamond Hydro Gel Eye Patches. And I like to use these when I have big, big fat bags under my eyes like I do right now. So that it kind of moisturizes underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna rub that in, all the excess. And we're gonna start off with our tape. Now I'm not gonna talk through this whole thing because y'all already know, you know, what I do and if you don't know what I do then you can just check out the, all the other videos of my on my channel where I'm doing my eyeshadow and really just my full face in general so y'all will you know I just don't I feel like it's redundant you know what I mean so I'm just gonna use my LA girl pro concealer in the color porcelain to give myself a light base to start out on We're gonna get started. Oh, let me blend this out a little bit more. Okay, going in with my Morphe 35N palette. Please excuse it, it's a little dirty. And I'm gonna be going in with this, this shade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this shade right here. I'm gonna be going in with that first. And I'm just gonna blend that over my eyelid, my whole lid. And the brush that I'm using is from Shein. I'm gonna link it in the description below so that y'all will see what brushes I use. So now that I've got that base, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Right here. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna go in directly underneath that and put that all over my lid. With the same brush. And I like to use the same brush because I like how 
I can blend the colors together easily. And it's all about blending. All about blending. And I'm just gonna blend that up into the other color as well, just to get that seamless one, kind of like a one tone green. So it's just like all just seamless. And now we're done. Very quick, very easy. Green fall look. Now we're gonna go in with our foundation. Well, actually, I bought this primer. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And honestly, I really like it. So I'm gonna use some of that. Just gonna squirt a little bit into my hand. And just rub that all over my face. Now what I will say is that it is a little tiny bit greasy but I'm sure that it's greasy for a reason maybe that helps it stay on I do notice that my um, foundation looks great with this on so I'm okay with it being a little greasy because it's not it, it's very lightweight though like it's it's very very lightweight so gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. So excited about this. And this is in the color 400. And I got really lucky by it being my exact shade online because I had to buy it online. They had a 25% off sale. Oh, and I will be using this brush that I got from Amazon. Ooh, I like the way that it smells too. It smells like cake. Am I tripping? Or does it really smell like cake for real? Okay, and now I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this all out. really does smell like cake for real okay enough all right so now I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place concealer in the color or the shade 10 and I started using this concealer underneath my eyes and well just to conceal in general instead of using the Maybelline which is lighter well, this is lighter too, but it's closer to my skin tone than the other one is because I really like how it finishes. Like I like its finish. 
Like it's just seamless. I know I'm using that word a lot, but it's just like, I just really like it. I think it adds, it's just seamless. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my HD Pro Concealer in the color Cappuccino. And I'm just gonna contour. And when you contour, you wanna line it up with the tip of your ear and bring it down to the corners of your lips. finishing powder in the color 25 medium and remember I switch from 20 light medium to 25 medium because it's a little darker and it looks a lot less ghosty Dust it off with my e.l.f. powder brush. And then I'm just going to press it into my skin with my beauty blender. And what that does is it just makes it seamless once again. And it gets rid of the powdery look. Just pressing the powder into your skin with your damp beauty blender. Okay, so now we're gonna go for lashes. And the lashes that I'm gonna be using today are these lashes that I bought from Amazon a little while ago. They are so cute. Look at them. Like, I love them. And there's a pack of 10. So I'm going to be applying my lash glue to my lash line first, which yes, people say you shouldn't do, but I do it because it makes my life so much easier. Now I'm just gonna apply some onto the back of my lash. because I find that it makes it a lot easier for me to apply my lashes when I put it on last. Now this is just what I do. You know, no one else has to do what I do. But I just find that it's a lot easier for me to apply. So I'm gonna apply my lash glue to the back of this lash. are on and I'm going to use my lash tweezers to press them together together nobody want us see us together but it don't matter no cause I got you nobody want us see us Cause I got you. 
Oh yes, we gonna fight. Something we gonna fight. Believe we gonna fight. Fight for our right to love, yeah. Nobody wanna see us together, but it don't matter though, cause I got you. I hope y'all enjoyed that little sing break. So now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna use my AOA Skinny Lash because it just makes life so much easier. I'm just gonna very gently apply mascara to my lashes. And I'm also gonna apply it to my lower lash. So now I'm gonna go back in with my green colors and I'm going to put some green on my lower lash line. Doesn't matter which one. Just pick a random one because they're all green in the end, baby. So the greens that I went in with was this green and this green. These two greens. Okay, and now I'm gonna use my Ofer Cosmetics highlighter in the color Rodeo Drive. And I'm just gonna hoi white, which is my favorite part, as we all know. nose top of my lip and I'm just gonna take my pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist from ColourPop and set my face and that is it y'all that is it. We are done. I really like this Fenty Beauty Foundation. I think it's great. It's very hydrating. So go ahead and check out all the rest of the videos on my channel. Check out my most recent video where I did a Beauty Glaze review um, from the Beauty Glaze Color Board Palette, which I will be doing a look on soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. And I will catch y'all in my next video.